Hello everyone, welcome back to Informers War for Cybertron. I'm Warwolf and hopefully this will work this time. I've had some hardware issues lately which has... well, it, it caused uh, my last recording attempt to become horribly chopped up and audio not working properly and the one before that the game actually crashed. Well, not just the game, the entire computer, and kinda wiped my uh, autosave file in the process, which seems to be the only save file the game has, so it's a good thing we were about to start on the Autobots and we're done with the Decepticons. Now, let's just jump into things here. As you see, we can choose between Optimus, Bumblebee, and Ratchet. And since this is the only mission I get Ratchet in, I believe I'm gonna go for him this time. Icon. The capital city of the Autobots is crumbling under the onslaught of Megatron and his Decepticons. Rumors have spread of the defeat of Omega Supreme and Autobot leader Zeta Prime. If the Autobots have any hope to band together and repel the enemy, a new hero must emerge. shouldn't be out here alone. Autobots are no longer safe in Iacon. The Decepticons control the airwaves. The only secure way to communicate is by messenger. I volunteered. Name's Bumblebee. Ratchet, this Autobot needs repairs. Be still. I'll get you fixed up. What? No, there's no time! I need to find the Autobot called Optimus. I have important information for him. I am Optimus. You're... Sir, it pains me to tell you this. But our leader, Zeta Prime, is dead. Megatron. What of the High Council? They've gone into hiding, cut all communication with the outside. Optimus, with Zeta Prime gone, our forces are directionless, ineffective. The Council will emerge when it's safer. In the meantime, Ratchet Bumblebee, you're with me. Megatron is determined, I'll give him that. He means to see Iacon destroyed. Not destroyed, Ratchet. Simply taken. He knows we are at our weakest with Zeta Prime gone. Megatron can take this city over my twisted, lifeless shell. We prefer no further loss of life, Bumblebee. Focus on the task at hand, Autobots. Yeah. Any Autobots on this frequency. This is Jetfire. Come in. Jetfire, this is Optimus. Glad you're still airborne. What's your status? We're taking heavy damage up here. Put me through to Zeta Prime. We need him to activate the planetary guns. Zeta Prime is dead. He's dead. What are we going to do? I have assumed temporary command, Jetfire. Let the rest of your flight squadrons know. And don't worry. We'll get those guns online. Temporary command? Not now, Ratchet. Jetfire needs those guns online. I can't even begin to describe how much hearing Peter Cullen's voice uh, again <laughs> excites me, if that's the right word. He was a huge part of my childhood, and hearing him again, yeah. He fills the role so well. I'm 
I'm curious if anyone could fill his shoes, really. It's also, also interesting to note just how much smaller Optimus is here. Like you can see, even Ratchet looks bigger. And he's not that much bigger than Bumblebee and... yeah. Not quite what we're used to. He of course isn't a Prime yet. And hasn't got the Matrix to power him up, so... And Ratchet now being a combat medic, that's also a little weird considering... The, the closest things to weapons he ever had were, were his surgical instruments and... Like, a laser scalpel is of course made to cut into an Autobot's hide, but... That's usually at close range and... yeah... Doesn't really afford him much in the way of combat opportunities. And yet now he's fully fledged with all sorts of uh, Cybertron weaponry. I mean, I'm not sure I'd call him a complete pacifist, even uh, in the earliest uh, versions, but... Oh, hello. Hmm, this should suffice. But yeah, he uh, preferred to stay out of combat, and even though he saw the necessity of it. Over there. Get I guess that's Autobot. part of the new that Autobot image, enemy. though, that they no do see that, that combat is necessary in order to... Uh, Rerouting power to weapons. In order to uh, reclaim the peace, because... The Decepticons will not simply wait. They can't be waited out, so yeah, you need to fight if you want to subdue them. Don't let up Autobots. Keep going for Zeta Prime. Which will probably lead to lead to less loss of life. Weapons overheated. In the long run. Hopefully. And, like, Ratchet was supposed to be an ambulance, and I'm not sure if this is an ambulance. I mean, I doubt he'd be able to ferry any uh, injured, uh, any injured uh, Transformers in here. Time to hoof it. Hoof it. For the glory of Megatron! Consider that a dose of medicine. Uh, I could use ammunition, but I think we'll be fine. Yeah, Ratchet has been the the medic, uh, the medic and chief uh, chief surgeon, if you will, of the Autobots ever since the beginning. And Bumblebee has been part of, part of the crew from the very beginning as well, so... I'd say this is a strong opening for... Uh, strong opening for the Autobots. Ratchet has some cool uh, stories attached to him, like... After the original, uh, this is far from over, Bumblebee. The skies might be clear, but our ground forces are in disarray. Optimus, if we can get the communication grid back online, we'll be able to coordinate our defenses. The communication grid is in the Decagon. If we get there in time, we've got a chance. Look out! Every second counts. Let's move. But yeah, after the original 
You're better at this than you give yourself credit for. The High Council of Elders will choose the next Prime. I'm merely a stand-in until that choice is made. Um, yeah, as I was saying, after the original limited series of... More ammo! Excellent! Run. Let's try that again. After the original limited series of the comics, Ratchet was actually one of the ones who was not in... Uh, Weapon systems recharging. ...who was not in the arc when the final attack happened. He was out with Spike trying to investigate uh, the footage they had of the Dinobots. So he was safe from Soundwave's uh, blast. Thank Primus, you're here. I mean Shockwave, of course. Shockwave's blast. You want more? And. Uh, so yeah, it took him a while to actually discover what uh, discover what had happened at the Ark. And on the way back, they actually I thought it was a bit funny. But they actually encountered a few nice. The automated repair systems are still functional, at least. That's a good sign. Autobots, onto the lift. I thought lift was a British term. Oh well. And yeah, the, he and Spike encountered some campers and... Oh dear. They, well, Ratchet kinda stepped on their campfire. Which didn't really help their matters much. No. So to make it up to them, uh, he Optimus, I'm picking up a concentration of electrotetronic anomalies close by. I don't know what that means. But yeah, he stepped on their campfire and on their tent, I believe, and he helped them get it back up. And then, as a consolation prize, he actually used his laser scalpel on. Uh, on low, low, low heat to uh, to cook up some so, some hot dogs for them. I believe he called them protein cylinders or something like that. 